from the time you fellas started, how has the game changed in your estimation? It's changed a lot. It's changed a lot. Um, I started off, well, as a kid, I was at like Stoke on the 12th, 13th, I went to Derby. Mm -hmm. Derby County. I was released just before like, my apprenticeship. Then I had to go to, it's like a weekend um, where scouts call and watch you. And I was fortunate I got seen mm -hmm. by, it was a League Two club at the time, Mansfield Town. And that's how I broke into football then. And at that time, there was like a manager, like a physio, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Like there was there was nothing else. We'd train on AstroTurf. Mm -hmm. We didn't really have any facilities, any injury. It was like you do your cruise shit. It's like ice nice. it. <laughs> <laughs> like ice it. And from that sense, it's changed to like now. I never touched on the physiotherapy at, in Jamaica and things like that. Like it's so good now compared to what it was, and that's like in England where there's a lot of money. Um, the facilities are just like. You can go to the training ground now and you don't have to leave. It's like everything there, like clubs now have got like their own scanning facilities, mm -hmm. things like that. But on the pitch, I think the game's got a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. It has got a lot quicker, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more analysts involved, there's a lot more like, footage you've got to see, you've got yeah, to yeah, monitor yeah. your player who yeah. you're playing against. GPS. So you're getting trapped like everywhere, you get every training session, yeah. that, you know, where I'm playing now, yeah. too. Yeah. You know, we've got heart rate monitors on, we've yeah. got GPS. So you every have training. Like hit certain mm -hmm. targets in training, they're going to pull you up about it. Wow. Whereas back in the day, was, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. just, it's I'm nice. not saying you would stroll around, but you could do. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, one's going to know yeah, any yeah, the wiser, yeah, you know. Yeah, now yeah. there's just that side of it. You know, I think a massive change now is the social media side yeah. of it. You know? things off the pit and a lot of the kids now when I, mean, I started I wanted to play I wanted to make my debut that was the you know I wanted to get in the first team that mm -hmm. was it yeah. didn't think of anything else and I think now it's more I want to be a footballer for everything that goes with it mm -hmm. you know and all I my was, Instagram yeah. pays to be uh, on fleek but when you look at it now and the, the kids that are on Instagram yes. you know I don't, I don't want to be this older pro sounding bitter or mm -hmm. innocent mm -hmm. because you know I was young once you know mm -hmm. but I, I definitely haven't experienced it and work with the younger kids and as I say being very lucky to have good senior pros when I was a kid try to do the same take the young kids speak to them listen to them know what's going on but that's just a side of it that I can't really get my head around yeah you know they get a pair of boots from like, like straight on Instagram and this guy's driving this car like straight on Instagram <laughs> and, you know like hang on how about get on the pitch first and do something on the pitch you know, and that of, will yeah, come you know, yeah, we're yeah. in a very fortunate position that we get paid very well yeah, for yeah. doing what we love doing mm -hmm. all that stuff will look after itself yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. but I just think a lot of them they've not even played the first team game yeah. but it's under 21's league now yeah. which for me the worst thing yeah, in football yeah, in England because yeah, yeah. it's just created a